Hello YouTube, and welcome to my tutorial on how to use Gnome 2. Gnome 2 is a keyboard-driven launcher for the Linux operating system. It has a very simple interface, but with this simplicity it comes power to perform many actions with just a few strokes of the keyboard. As you can see, I'm making this video on my Mac, but I'll be using VMware Fusion to run Ubuntu 10.04 Lucid Links for the demonstration. First off, if you want to install GNOME 2 in Ubuntu, it's very easy. Just search for GNOME 2 in the software center and then click install. As you can see, I've already installed it. To invoke GNOME 2, simply hold the super key and hit space. If you're using a Windows keyboard super is the Windows key, on a Mac keyboard it would be the command key. One of the best things about Gnome 2 is that it learns how you use it. Essentially, the longer you use it, the less you'll have to type. The first time you use Gnome 2, you might have to type out half of the name of a program, but soon you may only need to type the first one or two characters to get the same result. For instance, if I want to open up Google Chrome, I simply type G, then enter. If I type G, E, then enter instead it changes to G edit. So what exactly was going on? The left side of the Gnome 2 window took the character I typed, G, and it realized I wanted to open Chrome, because that's the action I normally take after I type the G key. Gnome 2 displays the default action on the right hand side of the window. When I hit return, the action was carried out. Gnome 2 is relatively intelligent when it comes to what actions it chooses. Let's say I type Cisco, it wants to open Cisco Packet Tracer, but when I add a.com, the default action changes to open URL. Suppose you don't like the default action that Gnome 2 chooses? Well, you can easily change it. Let's say you want to look up some random word you saw on the internet like empiricism. You can select the word, then activate Gnome 2, and type S, E, this should bring up the selected text as a source, then you can see that define has shown up as the default action, but it might not show up for you, so you can hit tab to select the actions pane and then the up down arrows can be used to browse the list of available actions. I'll choose Define. If you use Define on selected text often enough, as I have, it will become the default action. Gnome 2 comes with an abundance of plugins that give it even more functionality and allow the user to customize how they work with the program. There is a good sized list of official plugins, and an even bigger list of plugins that the Gnome 2 community has contributed. One example is the Google Search plugin. Let's look up some information about the CCNA exam. Type in your search, then select Google Search as the action. Your search results appear right in the Gnome 2 drop-down menu, cool right? As a Cisco networking student I use PuTTY a lot to connect to remote devices so I'm going to demonstrate the PuTTY plugin before I conclude this demonstration. Prior to this I had set up a fake PuTTY session as you can see here. So now I can just open Gnome 2, type fake, and the default action is, connect with PuTTY, so I just hit return. Since the session is fake anyways, of course it doesn't work. After you use Gnome 2, for a while, you will feel slow on any computer without similar functionality. I find that it greatly increases my productivity and enhances my efficiency by approximately 3.74%. Have a good day folks, and go download Gnome 2, now.